Hey guys, welcome back. This is the part 5 or lecture number 63 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss and practice about order query method. So, order query method retrieves the records from the database in any specific order and by default it retrieves the record in ascending order but if you wish you can change the order as well. For example, let's open the console okay? and here you can run query like uh, student.order and first name. Okay. So here you can see the IDs are different here like it starts with the student first name a student id 18 okay but it starts according to the order of the first name and it sort the alphabetical order okay and if you want to uh, change the order you can do it like uh, let's say first name if you want to place it in a different uh, order or in descending order or you want to change the default order then you can do it like this okay and here if you want you can mention this order query in a string as well let's say student dot order and you can mention a string condition here as well like first name okay so you can see that it is the same result okay it starts with the id 18 and uh, displaying the first name adrian and last name because we did not uh, make any order in our last name so it doesn't matter so it uh, displays the student collection based upon the ordering of the first name attribute okay and you can do the same thing for us uh, descending as well like here you can mention and you will get the same output of this query if you make it in a string okay so it is possible to both work as a hash condition or a condition in the string or mention your ordering in the string okay and you can also perform ordering with multiple columns as well here we saw the that only we are only passing one attribute inside for the ordering but uh, if we wish we can provide multiple element attributes for the ordering as well let's say for example student order and here you can make it like uh, let's say first name sending and descending okay this query also works order by student dot first name ascending and student dot email descending okay and uh, by the way you can check here that uh, here i am providing sorry here i am providing first name as ascending order email as descending order so here no need to provide first name as ascending order you can simply provide first name and this will work and this will give the exactly the same result and one more thing to notice here is that just like where method as we saw in the last lecture order also returns an active record relation instance so if you wish you can apply or chain other query methods on it too for example let's say you perform this query and you can perform first here okay so here you are getting the first student uh, from this order by clause okay or this collection or you can also provide let's say find 18 and you can perform this uh, query as well and you if you wish you can provide find uh, run find each here as well let's say find by so not find each find by let's say email the we at the rate bootcamp.com okay and you will get the record using find one so just like order we can perform further or we can further sql query method on this order collection written by the order query and we can chain or you can say that we can chain other query methods as well okay so this is how order works so though this is a very simple example but you can apply the same thing for whatever the complex operations you have 
the order operate uh, the order by clause works like this okay and this order method applies the order by clause in your sql query or in your orm query okay so this is the brief about the order method please try this at your end and you will get more compatible with this this is more frequently used query method in rails so try this and get better that's all so thanks for watching this lecture and let's meet into the next lecture with the uses of select method till then tata goodbye take care stay safe